I just want to get the scallops browned a little bit because they take a while to cook. And well, sure. Exactly what is paella? Paella, paella is an old peasant's dish that back in uh, Spain, when they didn't have much to eat, they would go to their cupboards and they would gather their rice and everything together and whatever else they had. Oh yeah. And then they would throw it in one big old pot. Okay. Well, right up, serve a bunch of people. And so your version is a. Uh... But there are many versions of paella now <laughs> since then. I mean, a long time. Ago. Oh sure. That's kind of the way it goes. Yeah. So, you know? Oh yeah, the sausage? Yeah, yeah. it doesn't take long at all. No. Yeah. This is the sofrito. This uh. is the base. It's onions and garlic and parsley. Red peppers, roasted red peppers, and tomatoes, diced tomatoes. Nice. And how do you how do you cook the rice in all this? I'll show you. That must be the peppers? Yep. Here comes the tomato sauce. Tomatoes. Diced tomatoes. Diced tomato. Okay, not tomato sauce. Diced tomatoes. Okay, we add the rice to the sofrito. And that's four cups of rice. And use short grain, short grain rice. I get it from Spain called Bamba from Calispera. So do you have a Spanish store there in no, Ventura? No, uh, I, I order it from a Spanish store in Williamsburg, Virginia, who gets it from Spain. Oh, wow. Authentic Spain. Oh, that's cool. Okay. You mix all of this in here, okay? Coat the rice. You see how the rice soaks up the juice? I do. Okay, you want all the rice to be coated with the flavor. Okay. And you always add warm stock because if you add cold stock to it, it takes a while for it to cook. Right, so and it's going to do, stock. yeah, it's going to be on target. Yeah. But you don't really want it hot. No. Because that'll cook it all too fast, yeah. change the texture of your rice. Yeah. Now here's, where, here's where we get, it's a little neat right here. We add this. Sausage. Okay. Yes, the pit. And we get caught in this case, you can use halibut. Yeah. You can use any fish that yeah, holds yeah. up pretty well that doesn't break down, you know. So basically you want to stick to a white, I imagine. Yeah. Stick to a white fish. Yeah. And not so bony. And we add the little longestinos here, which are just little, little tiny shrimpies. Yeah. And then you don't add the shrimps because they will put fat. Eight cups of chicken stock. Now is that chicken stock you made chicken or? Stop. No, chicken stock out of store. Okay. Wait, you see the yellow? It's the saffron. Oh, that's where that came from. I was wondering. And you used a a whole small jar of very expensive saffron. We're eating fabulously tonight. <laughs> it starts to boil. The rice will expand and soak up the juice. Okay. Nice. The key here is not to stir it. Okay. You, you stirred it when you put it in on the sofrito to coat the rice. But we want the rice to cook. And it'll suck up all of the juice. And then as it starts to, as the rice starts to expand, the juice starts to go away, we will stick the lobsters in, okay? And we'll put the scallops in. Nice. And then we'll stick the chicken in. You see the rice is starting to cook very nicely. Starting to swell up in the pan. Yes, it is. 
And that Lions Club apron, now, you also uh, barbecue with the Lions I Club. I do, San Marino style. Yeah. That's right, chip chicken, garlic bread, beans. And how often do you guys have competitions? No, it's not competition. Oh, we, it's not, we, we okay. Actually, we actually, it, we charge $16 a person. Oh. And uh, we raise money for charity. Oh, nice. Rice is absorbed all of the liquid. And we're done at that point, huh? We're done, except that what we do is we we let it sit on the fire. Unfortunately, we can't turn this fire up. But let it sit on the fire and for about 10 minutes, and it crusts on the bottom. Add the chicken thighs that we cooked, but this is a little full. It is a little full. So uh, they won't fit in there, but it won't. I don't think people will mind eating cold chicken. When the, all of the uh, liquid is absorbed, the rice is absorbed all the liquid, you let it cook and it gets a, a nice crust on the bottom. You know, and now all that mixes in with the flavor. Makes it give so you, you a little So you kind of pre-cook the meats and then you cook the rice in with all the, put the stuff in and then cook Yeah, the well basically, you know, the stuff you have to cook ahead of time is, you know, the scallops, because scallops take, take a while to cook, okay? And you want them done. So I pre-cooked the scallops on the grill. And then uh, the next thing that needs to be done is cook the chicken first, because chicken takes a while. You want the chicken cooked. The lobster, if you're adding lobster and you get live lobsters, you have to cook the lobsters ahead of time to about 80% done, okay? That's about 15, 20 minutes max, okay? And then you cool them off and then you, you cut them. You chop the claws up and cut the tails in half. And, uh, and, then, uh, and then when the chicken is done, you add the sausage for only about five minutes or less, and the sausage, the sausage cooks fast. You take that out, okay? And then you make the sofrito, which is onions and garlic and parsley and uh, and diced tomatoes. You add that and you, and you get that going, okay? So mix all together. Then you add the rice and you coat the rice with that sofrito, okay? And then you add chicken stock, which you've infused with saffron. That's what makes it the yellow color. You can fuse it with saffron, and the chicken stock has to be at least warm. Mm -hmm. Because if you pour something cold on it, you kill everything, right. and it has to get up a temperature. So if it's warm, warm or hot, mm -hmm. it keeps cooking right, right away. Cold, yeah, so. Mm -hmm. And then uh, mm -hmm. uh, that's like four cups of bomba rice, short grain rice. Mm -hmm. or you could use a burrito, which is Italian rice. Mm -hmm. And then once you start that going and you put the liquid in there, mm -hmm. then you put in your fish, the cod, okay? And you put in the langostinos we put in there. And then you add um, you add things like the, the, the lobster and the, and the sausage, you know, and you don't you don't you don't stir it. Okay, you just add, you just let, add it and then you stuff in the lobsters and then stuff in uh, the shrimp. Because the shrimp don't take long to cook at all. And you just let it cook down. What are we doing now, Bob? Baby peas. Baby, Baby peas. peas. You didn't mention those Baby before. Peas are thawed out. Where's the first? Okay, guys, bring your plates.